time. <sighs> Bournemouth one, I believe, I didn't see it. Um, Luton two. Uh, same as last time we played them, really. Didn't think they were as good as I thought they'd be. There's Logan in the back. Um, but yeah, we they, they, they need a bit more, and you saw that in credit to them. I think we looked like a team that were trying a few bits out. I thought with subs, we've praised Andoni recently, but I thought the uh, subs hurt us. Watara weren't very good, Billing was hopeless. And yeah, the, the main players that were causing problems got substituted. Uh, Solanke went wide, and we never really recovered from that. Um, I thought if we got the lead, we'd, we'd have enough. But fair play to Luton, they um, made sure they kept themselves in the game and then got the job done at the end. Um, they'll be annoyed with Villa, I'm sure, but they've given themselves a fighting chance. So I hope they do it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're going to have enough, but Carlton Morris in particular is a bit of a nuisance. If we get a few bodies back, you never know. But as for us, it's just it's a shame because we could have knocked on the door today. I thought Fulham lost, Wolves lost. Could have made a claim for it, but I don't think I don't think we're quite there yet, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so disappointing. Winner, Chrissy gives the ball away. He had a good game and then he gave the ball away and struggled in the second half. Billing, I mean, just hopeless. Trying to close down, if you can call that closing down. And then, yeah, we've got a goalkeeper who doesn't come off his line. So, yeah, uh, just, I, I don't see what anyone sees in Neto, to be honest. Like every game, he just proves even more that he can't be a commanding goalkeeper who's just supposed to be a captain who takes a bit of responsibility, he never does that and he didn't do it today. Made an awful punch after about three minutes that was straight at him and set the tone really. I don't think it was all in but he's, I mean they've they scored up, scored outside about five yards and he's just planted to his line as usual so frustrating one um, but yeah, here's what it is. Sam you've got two minutes to go over it, that'll do. Hopefully Ben done something for you. Hope you're feeling alright, but I'm not really that bothered right now. Give me a KFC, get me out of this bloody car park, and get me home. Up cherries. Look, if I'm brutally honest, Lewin did deserve the win today. I thought in the second half we were very poor. We looked lackluster. Didn't look like we really wanted the win as such. Um, yeah, I just think nobody really stood out today, apart from maybe Clive and Tavernier. I thought they were the only two on like Sparks. Um, yeah, it kind of shows that we're not quite ready for Europe yet. I thought our fans did really know that, but it was nice to have that little thought there that maybe we had a bit of something to play for. Um, but again, it's not the end of the world, and Luton deserved the win. They deserved the three points, because again, second half, we were very, very poor. Um, yeah, changes were questionable. Why Slanky has played out on the left wing, I will never really understand, seeing as he has performed best throughout all of the season as an hour and hour striker. Um, but we can learn off it as a team. And I think Luton did their, you know, they learned their lesson after we scored four in half an hour against them a couple of weeks back. Um, and they looked a lot better today. They looked a lot better defensively. Uh, and they were still a threat attacking wise. Um, but yeah, thought Zabani didn't have his finest game in a Bournemouth shirt. Um, didn't think Neto was too good. Didn't think Kelly was phenomenal. Um, I think we really missed Ty Rams in the middle of the park as well. But again, everyone does have off days. Um, and I thought the fans were good today when we went 1-0 up. thought we were, the, the away end was absolutely bouncing. Um, Billing, I've got to talk about him. He, he looked like he didn't really care. He looked like he was ready for a move. But like some of the Leicester players last season when we played them, they looked like they were ready for a move and league players as well. Um, yeah, so if we can get 15, 20 million for him, move him on, shift down the Deadwood in the summer, then I'm sure we'll be in a much better position going on to next season. But there's still positives to take from today and again, lessons to be learned. Um, but yeah, it's disappointing because it's a game that we were expected to win. But then again, I sometimes think in games we're expected to win, we don't perform as well. Sheffield United at home, obviously looting away now. Yeah, we do it. We've we've got some work to do, but again, if we finish 12 or 11th this season, I will be more than happy. But anyway, on to Man United, and who knows, maybe we can go and win that and keep that 0.1% of the European dream still alive. Have a good evening, and have the cherries.